CK News. I'm your lead anchor and host, Victoria. To begin our third edition of CK News, we will dive right into some good local news. The first local good news story comes from Crystal Kids, where CK's very own Trey has officially become a first year welder. So congratulations to Trey on his achievement. Next, we will go to our new on-location reporter here at CK News, Aoife, for more local good news. Thanks very much, Victoria. Aoife here on location in the sunny backyard um, with our local news. Crystal Kids would like to thank uh, TELUS for their generous donation of $20,000. Woo! Thank you, Eva. Next, on to global good news. Our first global good news story sources from Twitter, where actor Dylan Sprouse has been visiting people's islands on Animal Crossing to sell his own turnips. This week, he visited one Twitter user's island and left a surprise in her guest logbook. Let's look at some pictures to tell this story. And in international news, here's a video. on location, Shirley Apuddle for CK News Weather. It's good. Thank you, Shirley. And now we will hear from Historical Victoria for This Week in History and Trivia. Thank you, Victoria. I'm Historical Victoria, and welcome back for another segment of This Week in History. On May 15, 1928, Mickey Mouse made his first ever appearance in the silent film Plain Crazy. On May 16, 1965, the Campbell's Soup Company introduced SpaghettiOs. 
On May 17, 1964, the first ever Tim Hortons Coffee and Donut Shop opened in Hamilton, Ontario by NHL player Tim Horton. On May 18, 2001, Shrek was theatrically released. On May 19, 1984, Wayne Gretzky scored twice as the Edmonton Oilers beat the New York Islanders 5-2 in the Stanley Cup Final at Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton. On May 20, 1932, Amelia Earhart left Newfoundland on her journey to become the first woman to fly solo and non-stop across the Atlantic. On May 21st, 1908, the first horror movie, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, premiered in Chicago. And that brings us to our trivia question. Last week, the trivia question was, what was the first animal to go into orbit, and what was their name? And the answer is, Lakia the dog from Moscow, Russia. She was launched into space on board the Sputnik 2 satellite on November 3rd, 1957, where she became the first animal to orbit Earth. This week, our trivia question is, how many bones are in a shark's body? Comment your guesses and we'll find out next week. This has been Historical Victoria for This Week in History and Trivia. And we are back for your random fact of the week. Whether pineapple belongs on pizza or not, did you know that Hawaiian pizza originated from Catham, Ontario? It's true. In 1962, restaurant owner Sam Panopoulos put pineapple on his pizza. He said, just for the fun of it, to see how it was going to taste, thus inventing the Hawaiian pizza. This week, we are also introducing a new segment. So now we will go to Eric for Tell Me Something Good. Tell me something good, Eric. All right. Hey, CK, it's time for a new segment of CK News called Tell Me Something Good. So each week, I'm going to be bringing a feel-good story and sharing it with you guys and hopefully it'll make this gloomy time of our pandemic a little bit better hopefully but first things first i just want to say thank you to victoria for giving me this time slot and also i am so sorry about my hair i know it's kind of wonky um but here it goes so this story is about one grandmother who's been using the time during the pandemic to help uh, make a profound impact on the life of strangers across the internet. So she's been using Twitch and Facebook as a way to stream playing her favorite video games like Call of Duty and Apex Legends. And while doing this, she has been um, gaining a lot of popularity and is now over a thousand subscribers. Um, what makes this a feel-good story is how she's able to interact with her community and the people that have been subscribing with her. So it says here um, that she's been talking to a bunch of different people, um, from single moms to college students and even inner-city youth. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel easiest talking to someone when I'm doing something that I enjoy. You know, it doesn't seem so hard to talk about what's going on in your life when you know, you're sitting down playing cards or you're sitting like in a car just having a chat. Something that's not, um, doesn't seem so one on one and intimidating. So she's been using video games and playing with her, um, with the people that she's been talking to. Uh, as a way to break down that barrier. And since it's anonymous, essentially, uh, she doesn't know who she's talking to. She's just giving advice through sage wisdom and having fun and playing video games with them. So they don't feel as intimidated to, you know, tell her what's going on in their lives. So she's been helping a bunch of different people. And with her subscribers and uh, through Twitch and Facebook, she's been able to get donations from some of these people. Now, the donations she's been getting, she's actually been putting it back into her community. So not only is she helping uh, people anonymously by um, giving them free therapy, basically, she's also using the money that she that those people are giving her and putting it back into her community. So 
win-win for everybody, it feels like. If you want to go and check her out, she is, her in-game screen name is Tactical Grandma. So it's Tactical and Grandma is spelled G-R-A-M-M-A. I tuned into her Facebook and her Twitch and she is an absolute delight. She's just always smiling and whenever she gets a kill or she gets killed, she's probably the most supportive person I've ever heard um, when she gets killed <laughs> or she gets a kill. Um, but yeah, check her out. Um, give her a like, a follow and, you know, chat with her. See if she might give you some sage wisdom of her own. But this has been uh, the first segment of Tell Me Something Good. Hope to see you guys next week. Peace. This week, we have three CK kiddos celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday to Tiana, Thomas, and Sarah. In case you missed it, there are a series of contests happening at CK, and the winners of each of these contests will receive a $20 gift card. You can enter as many times as you want. At the end of the month, every contest entry equals a chance to win a draw for a $50 gift card. Last week, the winner of the Impersonate Dave contest was announced as Leon. This week, he received his gift card. This week, the Extreme Bottle Flip Challenge has come to a close, which means it's time to announce the winner. Drum roll, please. And the winner of the Extreme Bottle Flip Challenge is... Keaton! Good job! You are the proud new owner of a $20 gift card. Let's check out the winning entry. Hey, Crystal Kid, I want you bottle flip there for you guys. Let's do it! Challenge is still going on this week, so be sure to enter as many times as you want. On Monday, we will be announcing a new contest called the Air Band Challenge, where you dust off your old air guitar, air drums, or air microphone and put on a show. Rock on! On to movie announcements, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. on Discord, CK hosts a film study where we watch a movie and talk about it after. This week, we watch The Hunger Games. Next week, the movie choices are between The Life of Pi and Catching Fire, so be sure to tune into Discord at 3 p.m. on Wednesday to cast your vote. In other announcements, don't forget that Lindsay's May Moon Challenge is ongoing, so get outside and explore your surroundings in order to discover what the May Moon is called. We also have a reminder from last week that you can be a part of the first ever virtual CK's Got Talent, by sending in a photo or video showing off your skills. Entries must be submitted by Saturday, May 23rd, and will premiere on Facebook Friday, May 29th. Show us your talent, CK. Thank you for tuning in, some of you for the third week in a row. This has been the third edition of CK News, and I'm your lead anchor and host, Victoria. Reminding you all watching at home to stay safe by staying home as much as possible, keeping a physical distance of two meters between yourself and others in public places, washing your hands often, and covering your cough. See you next week, and hoping to see you in the center soon. You stay classy, Crystal Kids.